Comics and Comics, we have a segment where we like to give an opinion about something, and if you've ever read any fanboy post on any message board anywhere, you understand why we call this segment, but let's face it. When I was a kid, I remember figuring out that there was a lot of Japanese animation that hadn't been translated into English. The Land of the Rising Sun had indeed cranked out much more than Speed Racer and Star Blazers. I soon learned that there were clubs in this country one could go to in order to see some of this Japanimation. I joined quickly. It was exciting to be a part of it. My friends and I took a long subway ride every month to see anime on sixth generation VHS tapes with no subtitles. And we were thankful! The shows were action-packed. It instantly became clear that the anime which was translated for American audiences was toned down and censored. Fist of the North Star, Gundam, Devilman, Macross, Diapolon, Legend of the Super Galaxy. Seeing all this great stuff made us feel more elite than any alternative college DJ telling you how cool bands are that you've never heard of. Then, anime got a bit dirty. At these club meetings, excitement crept in for things like Dirty Pair and Yurisei Yatsura, which featured girls not wearing much with the intent of exciting men. Personally, this was not a welcome change. This sexuality wasn't something that seemed special, but it didn't stop, and eventually, hentai became more prevalent. All along, my friends and I wouldn't tell girls we were going to anime meetings. Not so much because we were worried about being made fun of, which I'm sure we would have been, but because we didn't want to have to deal with their utter lack of understanding. My, how things have changed. Today, there are still American guys who are into Japanese animation and manga. But let's face it, in this country at least, anime has been completely co-opted by girls. I don't know when this change took place. Maybe it was during the rise of Sailor Moon. But today, anime conventions have tons of girls. Tons! They're fanatical, and they're all dressed up in full cosplay mode. And many times, not wearing a whole lot. Much anime content today is now sexual. And boy, do otakus get pissed off if you mix it up. Moe isn't Lolicon, which isn't Yure, which isn't Yaoi, which isn't Shonen Ai, which isn't Bara, and not all of it is hentai. I'm sorry, but you'll have to forgive me for not giving a shit if I conflate your cartoon perversions. Anime fans have more categories of porn than there are species of butterflies. Yes, uh, I'm looking for some monarch swallowtail hentai. The artists' alleys at anime conventions are now dominated by women. Women drawing either incredibly cute creatures or boys having sex with each other. WTF? Anime fangirls do this thing called OTP, One True Pairing, and they want other people to do it as well. You see, what you do is you take the names of two characters that you think are the perfect pair, shorten them, and combine them together. Like, I don't know... Beef butt or something. Although in that case, I'm not sure who is the uke and who is the seme. I've got an idea with this whole OTP thing. What do you say we not do that at all, ever? I'm sorry, I'm just not down with OTP. Why can't we just watch super robots smashing kikaiju like we used to? I'll tell you though, with all this going on though, there's this surprising non-sexual atmosphere at anime cons. Guys are still at these conventions, 
but seem more interested in their own cosplay than scantily clad females. No one seems to notice the 500-pound Totoro in the room. You'd think that someone would be going moe for Cocoa Puffs, but they're not. At Comic-Con, your average girl dressed as Catwoman gets whistles from male geeks and meows back. Everyone's happy. I don't know, acknowledging the sexuality of a girl at an anime convention feels like it would first involve having to explain what sex is to these girls. And I mean the overage ones. Now these birds and bees that you speak of, are they from Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind? Anime conventions have evolved into this strange tone of sex without sex. And I'm sorry, I'm just looking for some robot toys. I'm not being puritanical here. I'm not trying to impose a double standard of allowing guys to get their rocks off through animation versus girls. I make no judgmental distinction between stories featuring lesbian demons raping schoolgirls and heterosexual demons raping schoolgirls. Nor am I suggesting we try and restrict access to girls who are dying for stories about androgynous looking boys having sex with one another. Go watch Antique Bakery all you want. I just don't get it. And I can't figure out how anime became such a different beast than what made me like it in the first place. Because, let's face it, we've come a long way from the weekly countdown until Gamelon radiation bombs destroy Earth and Racer X teaming up with the car acrobatic team. And it makes me feel out of it. And old. <laughs>